past Sunday, God uh, used me to bring a message pertaining to the title was, uh, He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not, uh, He Loves Me, uh, which I came out of John the 14th chapter where it began saying, Let not your heart be troubled. Uh, you believe in God, you believe also, believe also in me. Uh, he goes on to say, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. Uh, he talked about going away to prepare a place, and uh, he told his disciples, Where I am, you shall be also. Uh, you know, I'm coming again. Uh, uh, what led me to that uh, particular topic of He loves me, He loves me not, He loves me, uh, is that just the way that people, I'm afraid, live their lives today? Is that when things are going well, uh, we want to, uh, we, we feel assured that God loves us. Uh, uh, when things go poorly, we, we tend to say, he loves me not, or God doesn't love me. If things go well again, he loves me. Uh, you know, we say that again, but here's the thing. Is that with the disciples, uh, as Jesus was with his disciples, and he walked with his, his disciples, he talked with, with his disciples, and in doing so, uh, while he was with them, they were able to say, or uh, to feel the love of Jesus right there with them. But Jesus talked about going away to a place to prepare for them, to prepare it for them. Uh, uh, with that said, uh, this just doesn't stay with the disciples, or that wasn't just for his uh, uh, immediate disciples, it was for those of us that are disciples of Christ right now. A disciple is a follower. And now a follower of Jesus Christ is when we take it to the to to the next level. We can be a disciple. We can be a follower of our parents, a follower of uh, of our boss, of the president, of of the pastor. You know, we could be disciples in that sense. Uh, however, uh, we need to be a disciple of Christ in order for us to realize that he has gone away to prepare a place for us. So as he was talking to his disciples, he told them that I am. Uh, going to prepare a place for you. And where I am, you may be also. See, they were content for a moment uh, uh, when he was there, when he was performing the miracles, when he was uh, opening blind eyes, and when he was uh, uh, lengthening the, the short limbs uh, that people had, uh, when he was raising the dead, and when he turned water into wine, when he was stopping funeral processions, and even when he... Uh, 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 raised Lazarus from the from the dead, and, and just many more things that he had done. Uh, speaking to a fig tree, and a fig tree dying, and and, and um, uh, speaking and coming back to life again. And, and here's the thing: is that uh, uh, they 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 were okay with him. Uh, they felt the love then, but now he's talking about leaving. And when he's talking about leaving, uh, uh, what we see here is that. Uh, he just began to get sad, and not at the point where he's saying he, he don't love me, uh, but then again, there are some people that say, because you're about to leave, you don't love me like you say you did, but let alone let somebody leave you like Jesus did. Jesus left them. How did he leave them? Why did he leave them? He left them so that he can prepare a place for them. And where he is, they will be also. Where he is, we shall be also. So when he left them and he's, he has left us, uh, he's not here with us. So now people are tending to say, he loves me not. You know how when you get that petal, uh, the flower in the petals, you start peeling it off, saying he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not. Uh, uh, you're hoping that you have enough petals to to be able to stop. Uh, no more petals than you need to, to be able to stop. And he loves me. So when the disciples left, when Jesus left his disciples through by way of the cross and the cross is so critical in our lives is that hey people stop worshiping the cross and work when worship the one that died on the cross he didn't perish but he died on the cross he's the one Jesus Christ is the one that left us so now people are saying he doesn't love me anymore you know how many times you know you don't know how many times but oftentimes you 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 would say that uh, does he really love me because he hasn't answered my prayers does he really love me because uh 
I'm so all alone. I don't feel him talking to me. I don't feel his presence. I, I, I'm by myself. I, I, I'm left all alone. But let me tell you something here, church, is that we need to know that Jesus Christ is still with us. Hmm? Yes. You say, how is he with me? Uh, when you just said he left, uh, he went back to heaven. Uh, let me tell you something is that Jesus Christ told his disciples. He was encouraging them rather to hang in there because uh, I'm going to send you something else. Well, rather I'm going to pray to my father to send you another comforter. While I was here with you, uh, still talking about that 14th chapter, John, when I was with you, uh, uh, I was comforting you is what he was letting them know. But now that I'm gone, you still shall be comforted, but you have to accept the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. And how do you accept the Holy Spirit? By believing in Jesus Christ died and rose again now we heard of how he uh, loved me and I felt his love because he was with me and, and now the disciples are saying that, that he's gone because he's been crucified he allowed them to kill him and, and he's gone so does he really love me because he left me here but let me tell you something he said I shall return Jesus Christ is coming back one day he's coming like a thief in the night Huh? In other words, when you least expect it. Look at the night time is that some people are going to be uh, unsaved, which is living in darkness. So that thief is coming. He's not going to come like a robber. A robber will come in the daytime. A robber will come at night. A robber will come when you're looking at Come when your eyes are wide open, but Jesus is coming as a thief. You don't know when a thief is coming, so you better be ready when he comes. How do we get ready? It's by studying the word, by reading the word. And when we read the word, first of all, read the word. First, excuse me, let me back up. When you believe that Jesus really, really, really died on the cross. Then you continue to read the Bible you heard about him. Now read it for yourself. Uh, and now in order for you to begin to study the Bible, you have to have a hunger and a thirst after righteousness. Uh, let me tell you something. You can't have that hunger and thirst unless you know that you're living in darkness. You can't have that hunger and thirst after righteousness unless you realize that we've been doing wrong for all this time. Uh, we have not been on the Lord's side. Uh, now when we read and study and we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior by confessing with our mouth and believing in our heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, we shall be saved. Now we can begin to say, He loves me. And can't no devil in hell, can't nobody on earth, can't nothing uh, change your mind about He loves you. No situation, nothing that comes your way, no sickness, no illness, nobody in charge, no, no nothing, nothing can convince you that He doesn't love you. But you have to develop that between you and God and between you and His Son, Jesus Christ. So I'm here to tell y'all that we need to get right so that we can be a part, so that you can be a part of this church. Uh, so when Jesus Christ comes back, we'll be ready to go back with Him. I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, this brief moment, to tell your people your creation all the people are your people but only a few are your children those that have of us that have become saved we are your children because we've been adopted into your family those that are unsaved are just creations of you so father i pray that all will take this opportunity to give their life to you we're going through things lord one reason I do believe is so that we can know that we need a Savior. When everything goes well, God, we think we're making it on our own. But church, we need to realize this one thing, is that Jesus Christ is coming back. Do, 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 do you know whether or not he loves you? Do you think he loves you? Or do you know he loves you? I know he loves me. That's why I will continue to spread the gospel about Jesus Christ and when we preach and we don't talk about Jesus having gone to the cross huh where he was where he suffered bled and died he gave up the ghost and he rose on the third day and he's coming back to get us 
may God bless your hearts.